October 6, 1981, shook the world when Anwar el-Sadat, president of Egypt, was assassinated by members of his own armed forces. Sadat, who had recently made peace with Israel, was attending a military parade to commemorate the 1973 Yom Kippur attack on Israel. The review included a display of Egyptian troops, military hardware, and jet flyovers. While Sadat watched the air display, a truck with soldiers stopped. Men dressed in Egyptian army uniforms threw stun grenades at the reviewing stand, and then they opened fire with automatic weapons. They fired directly into the presidential platform. Sadat's security force returned fire, but the attack happened so quickly that their response was too little, too late. Eleven people were killed, 38 injured. Sadat, mortally wounded, was carried away for medical help, while guards hustled an uninjured vice president, Hosni Mubarak, from the scene. Sadat died shortly after the attack. Other Egyptian officials and foreign ambassadors were thrown into government cars and whisked away to safety. Troops from the presidential guard moved into the heart of the turmoil. No one was exactly sure how or why this attack had happened. At the center of the confusion, people ran in every direction as the army tried to take control. Some of the assassins escaped in the chaos. When one of the assassins was captured, soldiers had to fight off people who wanted to kill the arrested man. Officials reported that three of the conspirators were killed during the attack and three were apprehended. More co-plotters would be arrested later. It was determined that the attack was the work of a group of Muslim fundamentalists within the army. They were unhappy with Sadat's peace treaty with Israel and recent crackdowns on religious extremists. News of Sadat's assassination was met with great mourning. The future of the Middle East peace Sadat had helped forge was now uncertain. The pact Sadat made with Israeli's Prime Minister Menachem Begin, brokered by United States President Jimmy Carter, could have unraveled. The two agreements, returning Israeli-occupied territory to Egypt and the ending of all hostilities between the two countries, were in question. President Reagan sent former presidents Nixon, Ford, and Carter as his personal envoys to Sadat's funeral.